when you push her there. So what the, show me specifically how you want to do this. Okay, stop. Okay, you see that she is going to be landing here. Okay, and, the, and there's her line. So you're actually now expecting her to rotate around you. So one thing you have to do in an opening like this, it's like a three pod uh, approach. Okay. You look at the orientation of that jump to that jump to the tunnel. So you set the line, and as she presses it, this is the line you want her to take. Right. It's an uninhibited line. And you want to be on this side of that line. So yeah. what options do you have? So what options do you have to handle this? Um, you could certainly be right there, but that's here. Yes, and oh. step over. Yeah. So figure figure out your bearing okay. so that you can support the line on this side and be ahead of her. All right. Show but just show, do it right there in uh, practice. I wouldn't uh, the rubber yet until you have this figured out. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, okay. so you've got yeah. yes, you got to try and put me back here. What you got up here? I I lose. I didn't know she was. So yeah. you, you want to watch her landing, but you are also simultaneously running. There, yeah. At this point, you know where your tunnel is. And the reference point is more, okay, I need to leave this line available to her. I need to hug this post. So I gotta be somewhere in here that I support this line and I get myself down the line. And so where's the magical spot where you start? Could be for her, she's pretty good. I thought it would be somewhere in here, saying jump and driving my line. All right. So you've got to look at some references. Where do I, what do I need to see in my scope to make this happen?